this video is a little something about our trailers about the uh, the propane bottles the sinks the height the gallons of water it's got to take so I've got this set up this is what your trailer is going to come with this right here that goes into your trailer this is the regulator that I'm using right now you need a a low pressure regulator a better one than this this is not sufficient this is for testing okay it's a low pressure regulator so let's jump to the cooking equipment that propane paint line goes underneath here right there in each city each state this is different. Some uses this hose, some cities, some uses a different color, black. Some uses metal. Some cities use copper. This is a commercial fryer. It's passable in every state because of the, the logo. I'll show you the logo right here. ETL. So, I've already got everything open underneath. All the valves. I want to turn something on. I turn it on. One, two. And I like the pilot. Okay. So that's lit now. It'll turn on. Okay, here's the little tricky one here. These have a pilot that you stick one of these in. The Olympic. Olympian. I got that on Amazon and they're flexible and you can stick them in there like that and light the light. And this one is already, it's already lit. So I've got it turned all the way on. So when you turn it on or turn it off, the pilot stays on. So now I can go to this and I would turn this one on. I go from underneath. You can go from underneath on some, and some you can go right through there. So that's completely on. So, there's your pipe, and there's your hose. For each city, the hose is different. The pipe is always the same. Now let's go. In every truck you've got to have one hand sink. You have three sinks here. For the water. The clean water is 30 gallons, the gray water is 40. It has to be 15% difference. The gray water has to be 15% larger than the clean water. Okay. Now on this, on our model, we got an automatic water pump and an electric hot water heater. The automatic water pump allows you just to turn it on. Now the hot water has to be to pass inspection around 135 degrees, real hot. That's why we use the electric ones. The on demand are inconsistent. This is a two ton air condition. Electrically, you have to have this unit plugged up to a 220. It can't run off a 110 or that won't work. So your breakers are over here. I've got them all turned on except the vent one there. I'm going to turn that on. That's a half horsepower vent. You see it sucks in. We got air ducts. Let the air suck in. This has a door in the back, door on the side. It's not an escape door. It's just what we put in this uh, particular trailer. Now, we've got 15% difference, right? Let's go to the plumbing. I'm going to turn the gas off. 
remember a low pressure professional regulator some people the out the, the gray water comes out there some people can run a a hose like on an RV to an outlet to drain the gray water tank okay so on this this is where you put your water in a water hose goes right in there okay now that's the gas tank let's look at the gas tank over here and I'll show you those are 280 pounds you may want those you may want something smaller because they weigh a lot they weigh a, an extreme lot when you're filling them up so that's the professional regulator right there this one's in use or was used the owner's use, uh, using it so this guy does not have a place to run his water so he has to get this right here one of these he doesn't have to but it's, that's what they're made for and he he jacks up the truck drains the water into here and then hauls that wherever he needs to get rid of so you have two methods of getting rid of your water one like that you pull it away and one like that you can run it somewhere on this trailer there, there's your water it goes in here it will come out there. There's your gas tank with the pipe on it. So once again, you got to have your hand sink, three sinks. We've yet to put the equipment in here. We're waiting for the customer. But uh, these are things to help you out, so you don't have to ask questions. So. All your counter surfaces have to be stainless steel. It's made for <clears throat> to be cleaned easier. That's what the inspectors look for. Every city, every state, the inspector is different. Every single city, not just state, but city. So this is going to Missouri. This is what she ordered. She got her four burner oven. Okay, remember they all run off 220. They got 30 amps. The trailers are 50 amp, okay? Let me show you what a 50 amp is. It's a four prong. 